Bathroom in. AJ across the timeline. Blows by the defender on his way to the hoop. Layup is up and good. 19 for KJ. Now the boss within six. 22 seconds. Top of the key. Long three. And KJ knocks that one down. 15 seconds. Out top. KJ spins. Top of the key. Pulls up. Three bowlers on the way. And he hit another one. Well, it was a disappointing outcome in Berkeley against the Cal Golden Bears. But the Buffaloes made a heck of a game of it. At the end of the contest, in fact, KJ Simpson scored 16 points down the stretch in the last two minutes and 11 seconds. But the Buffs fall to the Golden Bears. Back here in the Buffalo Stampede at Corelli's Monday night. We had Buffs prime time. The radio show out here. And we talked with Javon Hadley, the junior college transfer, has been outstanding for the Buffaloes to start his career here in Boulder. So how did you become a Buffalo? We're talking to uh, Ask Ted about how he found you. How did you become a Buff? Yeah, I mean, um, uh, like Coach was talking about earlier, um, right time, uh, you know, everything just kind of fell into place, uh, you know, right after our little um, championship run um, in the national tournament for my junior college. Yeah. Um, I just started uh, getting recruited. My recruiting started to pick up heavy. And, um, you know, uh, Coach Rowan, Mike Rowan, was, uh, you know, one of the first coaches to reach out. And, um, you know, I got connected with Coach Boyle right away. And okay. um, he told me all the right things that, you know, I wanted to hear in a coach. And um, I kind of just, you know, I trusted everything that he said. Um, so that was one of the biggest things I was looking for. Well, when you say you heard everything, what were you looking for from your next uh, stop? Um, the biggest thing was just the family. Yeah. Um, you know, a place that really everyone just really cares about each other. Because um, I feel like that's the, you know, one of the key steps in, you know, having a, um, you know, a good program. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, from everybody that I've talked to, from McKinley Wright to, uh, um, you know, um, Shane Gatling, uh, everyone uh, has just said that it's a family here. Okay. So, you know, that was one of the big um, big things that really caught my eye right away. So you were doing your homework. Yeah, uh, for sure. what Colorado was. You, I mean, you made a few phone calls, correct? Yep, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talked to guys and asked them. Yeah, you know. yeah. McKinney Wright was the main one, considering both from the you know the Minnesota area. I was going to ask you. So, so how, did you guys know each other? Obviously. Yeah, we did. Yeah, I grew up watching him. Play, you would have been actually. what three years behind him? Roughly, um, roughly something like that. Okay, so, yeah. you know, I, I used to go to his high school games and stuff and watch. Okay. Um, I'm not sure he knew who I was back then. Right, um, right. But you know, I was watching him, so it was yeah. cool. Well, where does his size come from? Have mom's side, or dad's side, or? Um, I mean, is your sister a big person as well? Uh, yeah, she's not. She's like five ten. Oh, okay. Um, my mom's probably like five five. My dad's okay. probably um, right around that six one, six two area. Okay. So, so I guess I just got blessed with the, the height. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure where it comes from, but I guess yeah. it's just a blessing. So, yeah. what, what are you studying? Uh, I'm studying sociology. When basketball is over, and I hope that's a long way down the road, what do you want to do? I'm still working on that one. I'm not too sure. But <laughs> well, when you're 21, you don't have to yeah, have all the answers. Yeah, I'm not yeah. too sure. Uh, I just know sociology is a good uh, good path to go down. Yeah. Um, you know, I know you can do a lot of different things with that. So, um, and would, it's interesting. Would so. you ever think about coaching? It's a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of time. <laughs> yep. you got to deal with a bunch of kids that don't do what they're supposed to do. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so how do you look at coming off the tough game against Cal the other night? Right, Every, you, you guys, you're, you're an upperclassman. You got to shoulder some of the responsibility. How, how, what do you, what do you think about this team moving forward? Uh, we had a great practice today. We all got after it, um, and you know, just taking a lot of those kind of uh, mistakes that we had, um, and you know, just learning about um, you know different areas that we can improve. Um, you know, those film sessions. Yeah. Um, you know, those are those are key. Um, a lot of people don't really um, think about that type of stuff. Right. But, you know, watching film and seeing, you know, your mistakes and where you can improve on, um, and, you know, and really taking that um, is also a pretty big factor. This guy right here is, is a cornerstone of this team. When you're at the ball games, keep an eye on him. He's a tough kid, playing very good basketball. It's great to have you. He's got a lot of Buffalo. Appreciate you. There's Javon Hadley. He's been outstanding. The St. Paul native has been a great pickup for the Buffaloes coming out of Indian Hills Community College. He has been a guy that's been very consistent this year for the Buffaloes as they get ready to take on the Ducks of Oregon on Thursday night. Coming up next here on the Stampede, we're going to talk track and field here for the Colorado Buffaloes.